Anyway, on Thursday, December 1st, Senator Brian Williams, a Democrat from University City, pre-filed legislation to help community, protect communities from gun violence by reinstating the requirements needed to obtain a concealed and carry firearm. Senate uh, Stephen Roberts, St. Louis, pre-filed legislation that would make it unlawful for a minor to possess a concealed firearm or handgun. Okay, so this one's easy. (laughs) All these laws make no point if you're not going to enforce them. That's Uh number one. Number two, uh, as, as many people know, I spent many years in law enforcement, and the people that we had problems with as it relates to gun violence were not the lawful citizens. Mm-hmm. The people who have the guns were people who obtained them unlawfully anyway. So well, the people committing the crimes with the guns. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said that wrong. Yeah. But the people who committed the crime committed gun crime. <laughs> thanks for saving me. <laughs> <laughs> the people who committed gun crime were doing it illegal anyway. I don't know where we got into this thing that it's like a fairyland where, well, they won't do it if, if it's illegal because right. clearly they do. Yeah. And now with crime out of control all across the country, you think that doing another thing of legislation is going to mm-hmm. magically stop crime? It's right. not. It is not going to do it. And Stacy, your husband yeah. is in law enforcement. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sure you guys have had this discussion. Oh, many times. This is one of his favorite topics. And um, rather than debating it with people, uh, he'll just ask a simple question. So, Kelly, what law can we create that stops murders? Take your time. Yeah. <laughs> we already have that law. I, I, yeah, I was going to say, even on this one, it's I thought, is this not a, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs>